So what's going on guys kids here and welcome back to a brand new video for today I will show you how to level up very fast all the way to level 100 in Dragon Hair Silent Gods and just before we start I want to clarify that yes this video is sponsored but I'm not getting paid for saying positive or negative things about the game all that they said is just to give a try to this game and see if I like it so the game just launched globally and is now available on the PC through the Epic Game Store, Steam, Mac, iOS and Android and if you want to try it out, then you can download the game right now using my link in the description. So, if this sounds interesting to you, then let's get right into it. So then let's move over to the first leveling tip, which is that you should focus on daily commissions. That will help you significantly to get a bunch of adventure rank experience points every day. Daily commissions are the key to rapid progression in Dragon Hair. And by completing these daily tasks, you not only earn a substantial amount of adventure rank experience points, but also they will open doors to a world of benefits. Your adventure rank will act as your overall level, which will determine your access to various game features and content. So daily commissions will offer a consistent way to increase your AR, which will ensure that you will get all the best leveling missions. These tasks are designed to be quick and manageable, making them a convenient choice for players to rank up very quickly. Moreover, as your AR rises, you will gain access to new story quests, challenging dungeons, high level areas and much more. Then my second tip is to utilize the elemental advantages. So you can pair up your heroes with the right element affinities to gain an edge in any battle. In different battles, different specific elements will boost your hero, so using heroes with a matching element can make your team stronger, thus making your fights easier and faster, and of course this will mean that you will be able to level up much easier and quicker. In my personal experience, thinking about which heroes to bring based on the battle location and the enemies you will face is the key to beat any boss, because this game is all about using elements smartly to increase your team's chances of winning in any battle. Then next up we have the stamina optimization. So you can utilize your stamina wisely in Adentius dungeons to tackle challenges and earn valuable rewards such as XP potions, elemental crystals and equipment. But be very careful and make sure you don't forget about this and let excess stamina go to waste. On top of all of this, if you want even more stamina you can consider investing in stamina bread which will boost your stamina and this will help you to outpace other players in Dragon Hair. This bread is not cheap, but if you want to optimize and speed up your leveling, then this is another way to do it. So then for the fourth tip we have that you should prioritize ranking up your heroes to the 3 stars. Because doing this not only will unlock artifact equipment slots, but also will significantly boost their overall power. And once your hero reaches 3 stars, you can equip artifacts that will further enhance the abilities and tailor the strengths to your preferred playstyle. In my opinion, this is a crucial step towards making your heroes very powerful. So again, the stronger your hero is, the more battles you can win, thus you can level up and progress much faster. When it comes to leveling your heroes, there are two ways to do it. So first of all, when you're in combat and win encounters, you will gain deployed hero XP, which will give the heroes that are involved in the fight some XP towards leveling up. This is a passive thing that will happen over time, but it's not very impactful nor important compared to the second method, which are the XP potions. These can be obtained by completing quests or battling in the Goblin Lair dungeon, of which there are multiple stages, each earning you more and more XP per run. XP potions can also be purchased from the shop in game, and mainly this is the primary way of leveling your heroes very fast, because the XP required from each level will grow drastically. When farming goblin layers for the XP potions, you will be rewarded with more potions based on how fast you can complete the stage you are on. And of course, this does cost energy, 10 per each run. And then, just before we continue, I wanna quickly guys introduce you to the Celestial Artanet Summons. So from the 10th November to the 16th, you will be able to summon heroes by using the Helio Light Dice. And because of this event, you will get increased chance of getting very good heroes. In each few days, this event will change thus giving you the chance to get different heroes. So here you can see all the heroes that you will be able to summon. I personally will be going for the Durango hero, because I really want to try out the exterminating attack ultimate, and because of our captain we will get 50% accuracy aura to all allies. Then as well, some other good heroes is the Irzilas, 
Twitch and from the epic heroes the Gladros. So guys, don't forget to participate in this event. And on top of all of this, you can guys go to the official Jugendherr Facebook page and react and speculate about the second mysterious silhouette which will be soon unfolded. Then let's move over to the next one and this time we are going to talk about farming. So at least what I prefer is to concentrate on farming stage 2 of the ice cave for the ice and poison resources. Doing this will enable you to efficiently enhance your hero's abilities and strengthen them very quickly. This stage is manageable even with lower ranked heroes and it provides an ideal spot for steady progression. If your hero is at rank 2 and under level 50, with all 8 plus gear, then you can easily farm the ice cave repeatedly to level up very quickly. On top of all of this, when heroes reach certain level caps, they will need to be ranked up to the next star rating. This requires materials that can be obtained from the domain dungeons, with the higher star rating required materials from the later stages. And the earliest levels only require materials that are available from the very first stages. So during the tutorial of your first few minutes, you will encounter all three of the elemental domain dungeons. And by increasing your star rating, it will allow you to progress to a higher level on that hero, with the maximum level being of 100, which is a rank 5. So at level 30, a hero can be improved to a 2 star and have their captain skill. At level 50, a hero can be improved to 3 star and have their artifact slot unlocked. Then at level 70, a hero can be improved to a 4 star and have their positive rune slot unlocked. And then at level 90, a hero can be improved to 5 star and have their negative run slot unlocked. In total, there are 7 equipment slots for each hero, called 4 basic, 2 rune slot and 1 artifact slot, which as you can tell are unlocked later as you enhance your hero's ranks. Each one of these will be earned through separate areas of this game, which will require for you to strategize and form teams to deal with this encounter, but we will talk about this in a different video. And then finally, for my last and final tip, we have that you should take advantage of all the free resources. Artifacts which can significantly enhance your hero's power can be obtained through the in-game activities and quests. Then as well, duplicate heroes might seem redundant, but merging or using them for upgrades can provide a substantial boost to your team's capabilities. I usually keep an eye out for these free resources, so later I can collect them and then use it all at once to speed up my hero progression and gain an advantage in the game. If you want to level up quickly in Dragon Hair, consistency is your best ally, so make it a habit to complete daily quests and adventure mode tasks regularly. These activities will provide valuable experience points that will accumulate over time, boosting your adventurer rank steadily. By staying committed to daily tasks, you will ensure a consistent flow of experience gains, which will ultimately speed up your hero's growth and you will advance through the game's content a lot faster and that's about it. So with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other video ideas like hero guides or beginner tutorials that you would like to see for Dragon Hair, Silent Gods, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to thank again this video sponsor Dragon Hair, Silent Gods and don't forget guys to click the link description box to download the game and play it for free. Dragon Hair is an open world game with a western fantasy theme. The game incorporates many tabletop RPG mechanics represented by D&D. Dragon Hair Silent Gods has already achieved over 5 million downloads, with less than a month since its global launch. The game is ranked number 1 in the download leaderboards in 13 regions. And overall, Dragon Hair is the second blockbuster product released by Nuverse, the distributor of Marvel Snap. It was released at Apple's WWDC this year and it has been adapted to the Apple's newest technology. So the game is also available on the Epic Game Store, Mac, iOS and Android. And you can link your account so you can take your progress through all the available platforms and devices including Steam. And if you found this video helpful then please leave like, subscribe and enable the notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you will not miss any more upcoming content. With that said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.